Hi guys. <clears throat> it is a spectacularly gorgeous, and I mean over the top beautiful <clears throat> sunset over the end dimes there at the end of the road in the Point Lonesome Swamp as uh, I uh, get sicker by the minute as Corona Panic this corona panic take hold of me. So I am out here on this gorgeous Friday night. It is March 12th, 2021. And I honestly do not know. I honestly do not know how much of this stuff in front of me, uh, which will, should be turning pink here, is it, it, how much of this shit is made out of airplanes. Okay, so this one right here, uh, if you can follow my finger on this one, this was a straight white line about 10 minutes ago, and I have watched the winds do this. You can see this, this was a straight line, this one was another straight line. I am pretty sure that, I don't know, close to 100% of this shit up in the air is uh, came out of the back of airplanes. But I am not a chemtrail wacko anymore. But, uh, you know, just sitting here thinking about various things and uh, having my sunset margarita you know, while I'm no longer a chemtrail wacko, I mean, this gives, you know, some idea of what it's going to look like when they start this solar radiation management. Uh, but there, you know, there will be no blue sky. You know, sunsets will be a thing of the past. That apparently 24 hours a day it's going to be this milky white, just haze over the planet. That uh, once we squeeze this toothpaste out of the tube, it ain't going back in. So I'm just sitting here watching the, uh, the cap trail sunset. Watching the cap trails turn into... Cloud. And, and, and you can see how this was, you know, that was one, and then this was one, uh, here's one across here. Uh, watching this cap trail sunset, uh, thinking about life. You know, I've got these hip campers, this very nice young lesbian couple has moved into the hip camp. So I'm giving those ladies some privacy over here. All right, here's one. Okay, can you see it? I don't even know if you guys can see this one being made or not. Probably not coming in on this video. No, there it is. Do you see this one here is being made? Oh, here comes one. All right, here comes one. Uh... So we have one coming across here, and we have another one coming across here. Now this is what the chemtrail wackos, I guess, call them making a, uh, this is what a chemtrail wacko would say, is, is making tic-tac-toe patterns. So what this is, is a plane probably flying from New York to Tampa, and then this is a plane going to Chicago and no shit Sherlock so they cross paths and uh, you get this tic-tac-toe pattern and then so you can follow how this path was just made and then it's and then over the next few minutes anyway I think you get it but it is a good thing I'm not a chemtrail wacko uh, very good thing I am not a chemtrail wacko uh, so over the cap trail sunset, but what I'm thinking about is this young man that my, my buddy and I, I 
One of my fellow tribes members was up here last night and we went to the Chicken King restaurant in Hernando, Florida for breakfast today. The Chicken King restaurant and uh, just watching all of these young uh, there's the there's the crane and the that's the crane and that's a flock of ducks mind him uh, you know watching this young couple and you know he was this nice looking young man he looked like he was about 19 years old and he was just with this fat ugly bitch you, you could tell that this uh, that this woman woman she's probably 20 years old I mean she was this fat ugly nasty bitch and they had this little kid with them and we just watched them you know we, we watched this young couple uh, you know folding up the fucking high chair putting this little fucking bundle of joy uh, you know in the in the I guess in the car seat that's what it was and just you know going out to their car i mean they were they were already fighting they were already bickering with each other you know just that this that it, it was clear that the goddamn marriage was on the goddamn rocks they had this fucking little you know probably six month old little planet nibbling bundle of joy and trying to put him in the fucking car seat. Uh, this fat bitch, she's on her goddamn cell phone. And, you know, dealing with the goddamn cell phone. Uh, this dude is trying to strap this fucking kid in, you know, in, into the goddamn back seat of the fucking car. And, and, uh, it's, it's 11 o'clock on a goddamn weekday. Neither one of them are at work probably put out of fucking work by the goddamn corona panic and it did and it was just depressing as hell fucking depressing as hell uh you know the, the, this dude's life was ruined it, it, it was fucking ruined uh his more than hers i mean both of their lives were ruined For the next 18 fucking years they're in, uh, they're in goddamn prison. So they finally leave. And, and, and it's, not, it's not 20 fucking seconds after this couple. Here comes this fat, ugly bitch. She's probably 30 years old. Uh, you know, she's already this guy. You know, just this. Like, who the fuck would even get a heart on for you? You know, and she comes waddling into the goddamn chicken king, and she's got three of the fuckers with her. Three. You know, like like two, four, and six years old. Uh, three uh, 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 of the goddamn. You know, she she plops the goddamn two year old. Uh, put, you know, plops her fucking ass right on the goddamn counter. You know, where people are eating their fucking lunch. Uh, this this fat pig waiting for her goddamn load of goddamn lard and fried grease and shit for the day. Three fucking, three fucking kids hanging off of her. And my God, she's sitting up there at the fucking counter. And out of the back one, you know, here comes this other fat bitch. Uh, it, it, you know, looks like she's about 22 years old, it, you know, with, 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 with this goddamn little, I don't know how old he was, three years old with the fucking pacifier, and, uh, they, you know, she comes waddling through the fucking chicken king with this little fucking planet nibbler, and I guess he sees a goddamn donut or a fucking brownie or whatever it is, starts throwing a fucking temper tantrum. Uh, you know, that he wants his fat ass mother to, to buy him a fucking donut or whatever the fuck it is. You, you know what the fuck I'm saying. The, the little fucker throwing a temper tantrum. She, she's got to throw him over her shoulder like, you know, like a fucking, uh, you know, it was just goddamn depressing. We, we could hear the the uh people at the 
at the booth next to us, uh, you know, talking uh, about the same thing we were that, that that you know that we were just looking at a room full, a fucking room full of, of just wasted lives, wasted fucking lives. These useless eaters. Uh, and, you know, here comes another fucking batch, another fucking batch. Uh, 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 these goddamn clueless fucking morons. You know, it, it just really, it, 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 it just really makes me want to fucking puke. Uh, you know, about how, how, how fucked we are. Watching this goddamn scene unfold at the motherfucking Chicken King. Chicken King. Good God Almighty. Uh... It's it's just we're fucked, people. We're fucked. You, you, you know, they, they, there's not a not one single uh, one of those goddamn fat ass clueless morons had any. You know, they they they've never considered it. It's never entered <clears throat> their fucking fat ass heads. And no, I mean, nothing has ever penetrated their fucking heads. You know, it's uh, they, they've never, they have not, there, there is not one fucking person in, in all of those that I, you know, all of those ruined lives uh, that, that, I mean, they're not even on the fucking radar about how fucked we are. It's just, they're pumping out these goddamn fucking kids. Uh, you know, they're already uh, goddamn overweight by the time they're four years old, having their fucking temper tantrums over a goddamn jelly donut. Uh... Oh, Jesus. I mean, we gotta fucking go. This goddamn species is, well, we just gotta fucking go. You know. I mean, look, look at this thing. This is, uh, this is what we call sunset over the end times. The, the cap trail sunset over the end times. Uh, man, and, uh, I'm supposed to be starting this goddamn trip and uh on on monday and sitting here getting sick as a goddamn dog have to head into fucking town get my goddamn vitamin c and my zinc and and my uh, you know start plying myself with all of this shit oh god goddamn timing on this bullshit That the froggies are waking up. Are the froggies waking up or what? So the froggies are waking up like that. It is a gorgeous froggy sunset. Oh, Jesus. You know. <clears throat> Me and my dog. My little dog. Sitting here, watching the fucking cap trail sunset, thinking about those fat ass clueless morons and their ruined fucking lives with the goddamn chicken king. Chicken king. I guess the goddamn thing burned to the ground. I guess they had a grease fire few years ago. I used to eat at the Chicken King in 1997 and I guess they had a fucking grease fire uh, <laughs> burned down to the goddamn ground and rebuilt it. Alright, it's Friday night. The weekend is beginning. The goddamn airboats are cranking up. <clears throat> cranking up the airboats. Uh, but it is a lovely cap trail sunset. 
so I got to head to the fucking CVS pharmacy for my vitamin C. Let the goddamn airboats drown out the frogs. We're fucked, people. We're, we're fucked. Do you get it? Do you fucking get it? We're fucked. See this motherfucker on this fucking airboat. Ruining another sunset. Another sunset over the end time is being ruined. One of these arrogant fucking motherfuckers. Fat ass motherfucker. He's sitting there with his goddamn can of bush beer. Got a can of bush beer in his hand. He's on his airboat with his bush beer. Oh yeah. That get your little tally whacker hard. Clueless motherfucker. Enjoy your cat trail sunsets over the end times while you still can before you get run over by a fucking airboat. Arrogant fucking pricks. And this fucker is actually being fairly polite. That's the thing about it. He's one of the more polite ones. You can only hear that motherfucker from two miles out instead of six miles. All right. I gotta go get some goddamn vitamin C. Bye, guys.